most important lesson to this day, um, I would say, um, is that whatever you start, you gonna finish. Um, and him being who he was and stature, um, growing up going to East Tech, being in the Hall of Fame there, and being city council, uh, going to North Carolina A and T's, coaching there, uh, him having one of the largest softball leagues, um, you know, from here to down south in North Carolina, um, him having an attitude to teach me that whatever I started, I was going to finish. It really changed me as a kid and as a child, because um, as a child, we don't know exactly, you know, the right or the best decisions to make next. And so when he come to, when he had come to me and I was really playing football at this time and I decided to quit um, is when he really had, we had, he had went back and forth with me about it. And he made me go to the track and I ran and ran and ran and he ran me for about, he ran me as long as I would have been in practice, but I had to run sprints. But his, his whole goal was he was letting me know that in life, you know, no matter how hard it gets, no matter, you know, how you feel about it, you have the ability and the strength within you to overcome, you know, the task at hand. And so outside of just understanding football, you know, and getting back on the field, playing again, and, and, and overcoming that obstacle and giving myself the strength to know that, you know, I can do all things within myself through Christ um, outside of that. But, you know, understanding that, um, it gave me the ability to know that I can pick myself up in life, you know, and not quit when things get hard. And so that's one of the biggest lessons that I think that he taught me, you know, growing up was, you know, if you start something, you're going to finish it. So if you go sign up for that team, if you go open that business or whatever you set out to do and you start it, you going to finish it. So it's it's more like a completion thing. So complete the process. And so that's one thing I appreciate because as a child, I wouldn't have picked it up on my own. He made me do that and I appreciate it now. So, and this is new, new information to me because I didn't know how great your dad was, but you're saying as well re respected and well um, uh, accomplished as he was, was that pressure for you growing up? Because your dad was this dude that had these, you know, that had a resume from here to down south. I can, and, bro. And, and you being his son, was that pressure for you to perform? Uh, yeah, I believe it's um, definitely a certain amount of pressure uh, just being um, the child of somebody like that with them holding themselves to a certain level. They push you to go to a certain level. But then um, within community, I mean, within the community, um, when you start to take on different positions and different things, uh, he was in city council, you know, it's hard to not be scrutinized and almost crucified by the people. So, you know, you have to be careful. You have to carry a certain type of persona, a certain type of, you know, respect level for yourself so that when you're out in the public and when you're out talking to people, or when you're going to school or when you're in a store, you're a, a, a complete reflection of, you know, what's going on in the household.